Hello guys, Hatsuchi here. This time we're talking about Ashram. It has been a while since the release of Ashram. I haven't been playing a lot of games recently. I've just been playing one or two PvP matches per week for the first win bonus, but now after trying him out in TSDL Season 3, I'm absolutely getting trashed on. I think I'm finally ready to explain what I think his strengths and weaknesses are. So we'll start from what he's really bad at. Ashram does have a passive that allows him to revive for 20% his health after he dies. But he still dies to a lot of skills and characters like Ares, 3C and Noble Charge, Beyond 3C, passive disabling frontal assaults, Barrett's double strike but really nothing can survive but it is also incredibly, incredibly easy to shut down Ashram's damage by hitting him with any sort of AoEs, debuffs, and with Ashram only having an effective range of 6 because of his 5 base mobility plus the melee range, Ashram in most cases gets jumped on rather than being the first to initiate battles. So if you want to get into range of something like a bozo that's not even using boots, well when you get in range of the bozo they're also in range of you. Since they have a move of 3 and a range of 3 for AoEs. So really difficult to actually engage with Ashram here. A lot of weaknesses here, and this is only the list of what kills Ashram. He is a lot worse facing Wilder 3C with any of his single target attacks, unless you can get the one shot kills here. One shotting units is quite difficult when Ashram does not have any percent damage up from his talent or abilities. Ashram's talent increases his attack and allows him to attack first most of the time. But that is easily mitigated by just having damage reduction like lobsters, royal cavalry, last rites. And whatever else. So against Juggler that used 3C, Ashram will definitely not attack first. Juggler after using 3C just have way too much attack and probably at best can only just kill the lobsters thanks to their heavy damage reduction. Okay so Ashram is not looking so good here but what if you have one at 6 stars and really want to make this Ashram work? So first you'll have to enchant him with Breeze for the 10% damage dealt bonus, as well as the chance of you know, actually breezing for that plus 2 mobility. And then you want to stick him in your AoE team. You ideally want to ban Juggler first and face some other tank like Landius. Ashram doesn't hit that well into Juggler with Lobster's reduction, but Ashram does have the ability Smash, which can push Juggler that jump onto you, if they jump and lock down your tank, you can smash the juggler away, but then still not really that good. You're just smashing them away, and you're not like you know, healing your team up, and you're not really threatening to kill the juggler. So, why well, I think Ashram is better versus someone like Landius, is Ashram have the AoE, the Dragon's Breath. This does very good damage. It's a very hard hitting AoE attack. You ideally want to move 5 blocks just so you trigger Ashram's talent that increases his attack by another, I think, 15%. So it's pretty hard. You want to get some damage up just to make it hit even harder, like King's Crown. And then Ashram can still attack into a Landius that is on full moon. And if they're not at full health, you'll definitely get the kill there. Even against the Landius on full moon, you'll most likely attack first using Ashram's talent. And just have a lot of attack. Against Juggler though, Ashram would ideally use some sort of cavalry troops like Bone Dino troops, but then Juggler can always just bring the Lancer troops to counter Ashram. Bone Dinos are a lot better against 
imposters though it's because of the training that allows them to allows the bone dinos to do like 40 percent more damage based on distance traveled so yeah they're a lot better compared to what you normally run on Ashram, which are the gargoyles that gets plus 30 percent attack when above 50 percent health so of course if juggler jumps in and then kills most of the gargoyles your troops are not going to do any damage losing most of your troops already and then also losing this 30 percent gargoyles now, if you have bone dinos same thing you need to be above 80 percent health otherwise they don't really do any damage so again struggler not really recommended unless you have exactly the right sort of team to support yourself like you heal up with d first then you can actually do something with this ashram yeah so ashram still needs a lot of help damage up buffs either going single target or going aoe probably want a attack blessing ashram with attack blessing though is incredibly strong and really one shot anyone except tanks and again most other units with attack blessing can do that as well so what else is ashram good against thanks to his revive passive ashram is good against single target assassins like zerda ea omega Cherry, E Heart, then all the uh, short legged mages to some extent, assuming you can hit them unguarded. Stuff like Yulia can't even melee into Ashram because they don't really have attack, so mages have to range attack Ashram just because Ashram's talent is going to allow him to attack first. Same with uh, Mr. Unite, can't really melee this Ashram. And again, as long as they have spear, they're fine. There's other units, of course, that he's good against, like Sigma, and really anyone that wants to melee attack into Ashram. As long as you have a decent amount of attack, you'll probably be fine. For all to make Ashram work, you will need a good understanding of his strength and weaknesses, especially the weaknesses. That's because unlike other top tier units that are good in many more situations just by themselves, D-Lit that is very flexible, Ares very flexible, Ashram needs a lot of help in attack. In having like an attack buff like Ozol or from Yusuke faction buff. And then he also wants these damage up effects. So you're going to need to bring those you know, King's Crown supports or Wilder 3C, Miracle, teleports attack blessings he needs a lot of help here and he needs to be facing the right enemy team to shine if ashram gets jumped on by a bunch of aoe's probably gonna be made useless if he gets engaged on first because of his shorter legs even though you know five mobility is pretty good but it's still pretty short now yeah if you get engaged Probably not gonna have a great time here. Alright, so that's it for the Ashram talk. Assuming Imelda gets her VC this week, I'll do a Sherry Imelda Apex stream on this weekend. 2 to 4 pm PST, Pacific Standard Time. Leaning towards Saturday, but not set on the date just yet. Right, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.